chim 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 Hello bricklayers, what's happening? Today I'm a bricklayer, the highest of degree, a finest artist you will see in me. I build what I like and I like what I do. Chim 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 A pound or two in my hat will do. <laughs> yes, what's happening guys? Yo, you good? Right, been a long time. But it is what it is. Right, let's see what we're doing today. Right, uh, insurance job. Someone's hit the garage coming in with the car. So my job is to replace like for like. So what we've got is concrete blocks coming in. Here. Coming up with a nine inch pier coined in. Again to the uh, block work. Up continuation. We'll get to the, the rafters and then we will do our angle cut coming down and then the guys will come back to put on the garage door. So, um, yeah, watch on guys and uh, sit back and enjoy. Chim 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 Great off you cut there, son. Fucking precision. Right, we'll turn up this corner. Get a set of lines at your bucket, Dino. 
I'll tell you what, I don't want to tear the corner too much because these joints are all over the place. I don't want to get caught out. Facebook lines out, son. Particularly using these blocks, there's no durability with these blocks. They are what they are. You know, once they go in, you can't. There's no real maneuver with them. You know. Great off your cut there, son. Fucking precision.
wipe the towel out this corner. Get a set of lines at me bucket, Dino. So you want the front of the corner too much because these joints are all over the place. I don't want it caught out. Facebook lines out, son. Good, so like, like another learning video, guys. Listen, stitching into existing, your own, you, you're governed by what's there. Okay, now step back for me. Have a look at this joint here. What's going on there, I do not know, right? You can see I've gone thick there, because I've got to match. Now look at it here, if we towel it up. Yeah. We're 25 mil wide. So what I'm worried about doing is, if I towel out a corner here, and then pull the line, if I'm within four or five mil, it's gonna stand up like a sore thumb. So what I'm gonna do is one and run. Okay, so put this on, put the line on, and then we're just runner and runner because it, I just ain't got it in me today to build this corner. The 950, she's 50 mil high, and bumping up with these concrete blocks is hard enough as it is. So we'll do one and run. So is this. screw gun or we'll take this off. Right. So if we go in the bed. Really so I can see we're slightly back. For those who notice,
little bit on that joint now. He's got the ribs. No, it's only mine, it's the garage, but two different blocks. Bum, 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 bum. So this is what happens when we're filming. I've run out of muck because you can't do muck and film at the same time. So, for you lovely cherubs out there who moan about certain stuff, don't take the piss. These old boots were brand new two months before I started the YouTube channel. I've burned so much rather walking up and down getting my own gear. Just extended that cut at the bottom to help back with them joints. So the cut down into the coin on the nine inch pillar. I just nicked 10 mil on it. Just to help out a bit, you know. It's done me a two. Look at them after, by the way, the boys cut. Aaron Bolster, see, take your time and teach them, and they prosper. Huh? Teach them correctly. Wow. 
Bring them bits forward, please, Dino. In that front step. And then, see them blocks, stack up the existing. And I'll get as high as I can with the existing, them ripped ones. Yeah, so don't mix the blocks until we get out of sight. We might get away with it in the rafters, in the joists. See the rib blocks, stack the rib blocks up first so we keep it uniform. Yeah, and I'll try not to use the other ones until we top that. So at the face height, it's all the same block. Mrs. Jones, how's your birds on Baylor? That's it, Good boy. See? Couple of minutes. You've got ones under here, look, under the blocks, under the spot bombs, if we need them. She's doing well.
stick in it. It's not going to stick in. It is what it is. joints. Open her out again. That big joint to get in tune with. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why I don't like Mondays to me. I want to shoot. The whole day. Then, then. Wouldn't it be nice to get them with me neighbours? God blimey, hello Mrs Jones, how's your birds on Balo? Mustn't grumble. That the bank holiday. Right, so, boomed up. Tea time. Have a cup of tea, I'm hungry. Right, what I've done is, see these joints here? They're so heavy, so wet. So, I won't go any higher than that, I've got one or two to go on top but you don't want to keep going too much weight on these at the same time. Even going seven, eight eyes can be risky. So we'll have a cup of tea. The current bun's out, so uh, we'll let the sun get on it and jot out a little bit. And now uh, we'll come back and uh, 
Eat it for the afternoon. What's the time? Five to eleven. Ain't bad going, eh? Right, so what I've done is I've plumbed the line up, put it on all the joists right the way through, okay? And that helped me mark and use as a profile to put me angled cuts in, me raking cut. That will go in nice and smooth, top the line. Then obviously the roof will sit on there. Now the polymer I've got with here is we're a bit low. You can see here, he's used thermalites. Add a cheat up, tuck thermalites in, easy to cut around. So, on this example here, where it's half bond, I'm probably better off putting a full block in, a cut there, full block there, and cutting a split to go in. Because to cut that much down back up, it's gonna be a bit fragile with what we're doing. But I'll have a go and we'll see how we get on. Do the same with the face, it's too dry. Because I'm jumping up and it's falling off. Oh, stick it. Oh. Maybe. Sweet. Oh,
when doing fair face block work and you know it's being painted after you know get your sharp lines in with your jointer um top and tailor but what the decorators use is they use a block with really rough sandpaper on and they smooth it all over so don't worry too much about trying to get it perfection just as long as you top and tail and you've got your flush bed joints and you pull it through as one as you can like i've done there but don't worry too much about stuff like this because it will what they say block off yeah so it will block off so remember that oh and that's a good patent decorator by the way who does that Always just jointing up the back of the block work on the neighbour's side. Um, so what I'm going to do is just make good of this little bit here. Because I'm a nice man. Let's have a look. A bit relieved as a dad. Um, I didn't say much before, but uh, Junior here was all done and set to go into the army in September. Um, and I didn't, I feel like my job as a dad, I didn't want to burst his bubble, but I like to sit down and have a chat with him. You know, he was training hard to go in, and I said, Son, like, my great great, well, our great granddads and great great granddads were like lieutenants. And, led platoons across Europe to the Germans, you know. I said it was different then because someone was trying to invade our country. I said, now you're going to sort out other people's shit. And all that shit is being welcomed over here. 
And I said, son, I don't want to carry your box knowing that you died for no reason. You know, um, it was a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but I felt it was one that had to be had, you know, and, and said. Um, and I said, look, the world that you always do that, he's booked in to go to the college, learn his brick down in September, get himself a little van, get himself an apprenticeship, and life starts, you know? And I'm not saying don't fight for the country, but if there's a cause, if we're trying to be invading, you're defending the country, I think it's different. But now with the, with the troops being sent over to Afghanistan and stuff, and now withdrawing and the amount of ISIS and the terrorism things we have over here, you know, I'm not having it. So I'm glad he's made a decision. He's pulled out, so he's not going in. So as a dad, I'm relieved, you know. Um, and looking forward to seeing him on his journey, you know. I need to get him off the apron strings and he's gonna go work with a few other people and learn from those, those people, you know, and, and learn different terminologies and try and make into what he can make in. And and, and that's what it's all about, you know. Um, he's really good on the odd, you know. He, he's jointing up, he's laying a few blocks here and there and he's got a bright future. And I said, son, right, hey, once you start earning your money and you, you land a few, getting a few bricks down and that, you, you, you're a well joyster, you know? So, so yeah, I'm quite relieved, you know, as every parent would, with their, with their kids going out um, to the army. I'm not knocking those who are going, you know, who are joining the army. I just think, um, as a dad, I'm very patriot, you know, and would you want to fight for this country the way it is at the minute? I wouldn't. So listen, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we've got another two videos, I think it is, or maybe, yeah, another two videos of boys editing in a minute, which will go up. So uh, listen, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, thanks for all your support. And um, the other video we've done for um, the, the uh, collage of all the Brit lads, give a thanks again for everyone who sent their videos in. It's fantastic. Listen, be safe, good health, God bless.